uh, we should have a quick look of uh, the way the armature reaction is minimized. The first way is that we have already seen compounds or compensating binding or compounds one and the same thing. Compounds are given. Second way is that in small machines, air gap is intentionally made large so that the MF ratio, reluctance to MF ratio is high. So, the armature reaction would be less. Air gap by air gap also. Air gap way is for small machines only. This is for small machine. This is very important. Third way is compensating winding. A winding is placed in series with the armature to have compensation of armature reaction. Compensating winding which is placed in series with the armature. This is for large machine. So we should be knowing that is why I have kept this thing as bracket because air gap method is used for small machines only. Whereas large machine for larger machines, compensating winding is used. So we should remember this thing also for armature reaction, which is very important for objective point of view. <coughs> the types of DC generator, uh, we can say that the types of Excitation. The DC generators are sorry, the DC generators are having different types by their excitation. Different types of DC generator, as I said, are due to the excitation. What is called excitation? What is called excitation? Uh, the way the field coils, the way the north and south pole or the pair, pole pair is made is called the excitation. Uh, whatever till now we have seen is, was the permanent magnet. So one way is your permanent magnets. Where the generator would be called as permanent magnet DC generator PMDC permanent magnet DC generator. Another way, the second way is that rather than having the generator, this was my first way. <coughs> this was my first way when where my north and south poles were fixed. They were not electromagnets but they were permanent magnets. So they were having lines of forces. So flux was there, permanent flux was there. So when it the there is a requirement of uh, higher uh, uh, voltage or bigger machines. We cannot have that much of uh, power from a pole pair. So we will have to go for an electromagnet in that case. So rather than having north and south poles, we will create these two poles by electromagnets, by having a wiring on it and these wiring will be giving when the current will be passing through these wirings and iron core is in between so these iron core will uh, alternately become north and south poles so there are different methods of giving the excitation to this, these two Mm, uh, poles 
one a is called separative excitement. Separately excited means these violins, these violins are separately excited from, from a battery source which is placed outside the DC generator. This battery is providing a, a violin, uh, this, this battery is uh, providing an electromagnet in the uh, machine, so this is called a separately excited machine. I can have another type, third type, which is called the self excited. I can have third type, which is called the self excited. In this self excited, I can have two different ways. One is called the series excitation. And another is called as the shunt excitation. Now comes self excitation means the, the uh, generator will be excited by its own internal current. How? Rather than putting it to the External circuit, this was my original blue line is my field wiring now. This is going here, this is going here. And previously one battery was connected to this, these two terminals. So, rather than doing that, I have the brushes here. And my now this Red wiring was going to the load. This is the normal case. And in the separately excited, I was having this battery. This battery was there, and the, this red line, which is connected to my brushes, was having a load. So now directly connecting it to the uh, if I remove this thing, when I connect, I am not directly connecting it to the load, I am connecting here and from here, 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 here. Or I can say that this wiring is connected to here and this is now going here will be as the shunt wiring. So simplifying this wiring, what I will see, I am having brushes over here, this pressure is going to here and here from here only my load is connected. This would be the way my wires. So I cannot directly connect the field windings over here. I should be having a field resistance which is called as the RF. Field resistance RF would be connected up to the windings. And in the series winding, what will be there? Rather than putting it here directly, I will put it here, and the second winding would be from here to here, so that everything would be in series. This one here. Everything is in series. So, that series will look like this. Again, I cannot have the direct series wiring. I have to put my RA, which is called the series resistance, R series or armature, you can whatever you say, R series, this is my EG generated, this is again R so EG generated and current is by here, which is called as the load current, here it is called as the IF 
feed that. Here, this is called an I load current as well as the I feed current series. And this is why load is connected to these two terminals. Here, load is connected to these two terminals, which is like this. <coughs> and the current which is coming out of the EG is IA here, IA is here. So, this is your shunt connection, and this is your series connection. <coughs> this is your terminal voltage V0 or uh, VT, I say. This is your terminal voltage VT. This is your RS, you can say R armature also. Armature resistance is directly there. So these two type of bindings are there.